Tonight we're going to visit my good friend Serge. Hi hey, Serge! Christian. Come on in buddy! <laughs> hey, how are you man? Fine, and you? Yeah, good, good, good. good. Oh wow! You aren't kidding about this place. Oh my god. There's so much stuff to see. <gasps> Alright. <rire> euh, Serge, euh, raconte-moi, t'en as combien des, euh, des voitures? Euh, ben là, présentement, j'en ai environ, euh, je suis tout près de 250. 250? Oui. And what, what type of car do you collect? Muscle car. Hot rod and uh, 15 and 16, uh, 60s. 60s? Car, cool. yeah. I also heard that you, uh, you had a 50s diners in your place here? <laughs> Yes, I, I am it. <laughs> We're gonna check it out later, if you for sure. Check it out, okay. <laughs> Anytime. Where Where do you want to start? Let, let's start with this one here. Okay. Ici, uh, pour moi, c'est les morceaux de cœur. Uh, J'ai fait faire un pneu, graver un pneu. Je voulais pas avoir les pneus Pirelli, rien de ça. Je voulais avoir morceaux de cœur pour vraiment garder le thème de la, de la maison. Je vais faire un mag Caragard. Et toutes mes voitures ont des Mag Caragard. That's awesome, man. And what are the, the brands of these cars? Are those uh, Ertl? Acme. Acme? Acme? GMP. You collect mostly Acme and GMP? Yes. Do you have other brands? Uh, American Muscle and Green Light. Oh. Et Auto World. Auto, Auto World? Yeah. Oh, cool, cool. Celle-là, c'est une Nova 70. Ensuite de ça, vous avez un Super B 69. Which brand is it? Um, American Muscle. American Muscle, okay. Yeah. And you have a Camaro, Ekme. Another one, Ekme. And you, you have a, another Super B, American Muscle. So, so là, ici, vous avez une Camaro 67 Ekme. Une Camaro, le même encore, 67 Acme. Camaro 69 GMP. Et vous avez le beau pick-up euh, de Acme. Wow. Des années 60. Le même, ce sont des douches. Right. Ensuite de ça, vous avez un Barracuda 71. We're going to see a lot of those, I think. Oui, oui. Challenger 70. Camaro 69 Acme, super voiture. Ensuite de ça, vous avez une belle Chevelle 69. Euh, 67, excuse. American Muscle. Et une un autre Chevelle 67 d'American Muscle. Uh, Yenko. Ouais. Ça, je connais ça. I know that. You know that? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't know a lot about muscle car, but I know what Yenko is. So yeah, that's pretty cool, man. And you have your uh, sign here, Serge Garage. Yeah. Pretty cool, man. Here we have two bikes in 112 scale with Steven Siegel here holding a shotgun. So that's, that's interesting. And in the background, we have... Pontiac GTO. Very cool. All right. Oh, I love this Mustang. This yeah, is pretty rare. The base car. Yeah. The 519. Yeah, 519. Very cool. And we have the girls here yeah. washing the cars. Chrysler 300 and 1977. Well, no. 57 is <laughs> sorry. That's all right, man. <laughs> cool. Here we have another GTO. Yep. Whoa. And two Chevelles. Two Chevelles. In the sense of this. Very cool. Oh, I didn't see that when I came in. You have the Blues Brothers car, man. Whoa. Who made that car? Was it green light? Yeah. These are getting rare. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, wow. 
What is that? Barracuda. A race car. As you can see, folks, I'm a big connoisseur in muscle car. What's that, <laughs> man? What's that? Uh? And you have Dodge Springer in uh, 1970. Yeah, that one I know. And, and a brand new Mustang. Yeah. And here we have the Boogie Van. From what brand is it? It's an Acme? Yeah. Is it full opening? Yeah, oui, monsieur. Whew. And wow, yeah, we a beau Buick race car, the car de mille. Yeah, yeah. And Bell Firebirds for something else. And here we have our first diorama of the of the day. Who made that? YCD uh, diecast? Mm -hmm. They made that? Oh, what? It's awesome, man. Very cool. You you have the same uh, candle oil toolkit that I have <laughs> bought. That's cool. Awesome, man. Okay, so what do we have here? Charger. That's an Ertl Atlantic. That's really, really nice. Case in the lighting also is really cool. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about that. And down here we have, that I know, that's a Mustang. Acme. From Acme, I didn't know that. <laughs> Do, 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 do. You should put a car in there. Watch your finger. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting hot. <coughs> All right, what else we got? Underneath the TV, we have a couple of race cars here. This one is really nice. What is it? Ford Fairlane. Ford Fairlane. Did, did, did this car race in NASCAR at the time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And here we have the official pace car of the Phoenix International Raceway from Bobby Hunter Chevrolet. Those cars are rare, man. I've never saw those before. Super cool. We have another one here. Wow. This is a this one is a Chevy Nova? No. It's a yeah, Chevelle. Oh. I like this thing. That's cool. Moving on. We have the Dukes of Hazard. That's my my favorite car. That's your favorite car? Yeah. It's very nice. <laughs> Charger Sodenex. Okay, so the Dukes of Hazard, they have a 69, and this one here is a 70, 1970. Yeah. Super. All right. Let's check out the movie section. This is the uh, Batman shelf. Hey, does that TV work? Oui, monsieur. <laughs> yes, sir. I'll show you. No way, man. It's a real TV. Oh, man, that's so cool. <laughs> Oh man, put it there over the car. Never. <laughs> Hold on. Now, isn't that great? This is awesome. 
<laughs> you get the movies and everything. Okay. All right. So moving down, we have the uh, Smokey and the Bandit. You have the two cars with Burt Reynolds. So you have the Burt Reynolds figurine. How much did you pay for that? Eighty-five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> That's expensive stuff. But it Not for me. <laughs> no, it, it looks the part, man. It, it looks great. With the guy taking this picture. You told me you have a truck. You know, you have the Bandit truck. Mm -hmm. We're going to see it later. Yes, sir. All right. So here we have the Christine. You have the uh, dirty version. And the clean, the clean one. Super cool. So moving from the Christine's down to Vanishing Point and James Bond. This one's a Challenger from the movie Vanishing Point. And you have the Aston Martin. DB5. It's a DB5. Yeah. yeah. Auto art. It's an auto art? Yes, sir. Ah. The best one. Yeah, I know. I, I believe my friend Jeff has it also. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's the same. Cool. Now we're getting down to the gun in 60 seconds and the movie Tucker. That, that was a great movie, man. Yeah, by Kiyosho. Kiyosho made that? Yeah. Wow. I never knew that. The more you know. And, well, obviously the Ele Eleanor. That's a classic. Mm -hmm. is, it, is it from Greenlight, this one? Yeah. Cool. Let's go down to another diorama. Is it the same garage? It's, yeah. It's basically the same garage with different cars and tools. This car played in uh, American Graffiti. Oh, okay, okay. Conduit by Harrison Ford, quand il course contre le hot rod drum. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. So here we have more cars, but before we take a look at those cars, uh, tell me more about this display. I mean, it's awesome with all the lighting. Who made that? It's my best friend, Anne Lajoie. Okay. And okay. then, okay. he works there for a long time. It's his job, he works in the plexiglass. Et puis le soir, ben, sa compagnie lui permet de faire des, des contrats personnels comme ça. Fait qu'avec toute la machinerie spécialisée qu'il y a dans l'usine, il peut se permettre de faire ses bijoux. Et puis, wow. Et c'est un artiste. Crois-moi, c'est un artiste. Yeah, I can see. It, it takes a lot of uh, artistic talent to uh, build stuff like this. It's all backlit, so there's LED light, LED lights behind. And it's all acrylic, as you can see here. So, I mean, that's crazy. I'm going to put a link in the description. Uh, you, you guys got to check him out. I mean, uh, I saw his work before, and uh, this guy is an artist. So, what do we have here? This one is a... Chevelle. No, no. 60... 60... Oh, no. 70. Okay. Chevelle 70. Un Swiss avec Cudo. Okay. I'm going to stop asking the name of the car because they're all there. Yeah. <laughs> I just noticed. Okay, so we have a Chevelle again. You a big fan of Chevelle? 69. Well, may look this one. Yeah, yeah. Look at the back mm -hmm. tire. Cool. She does so, this this one. Yeah. Hey, come Can on. Camaro like me. Uh, YCD, excuse me. It's YCD. What? 69. Chevelle Special, Couleur Chrome. Oh, yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Nice Mustang here. Mustang Acme. Wow. Let's see. That's a Charger, Charger. Mr. North. Mr. Uh, Bartwell. Mr. Bartwell. Oh, Bartwell. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. That's cool. Oh, let's see. Challenger, mm -hmm. with custom, Street Fighter, yeah, with custom wheels. Acme, 
we also crazy man this one we saw this guy here we saw it and of course throughout the house we have all different kind of old car signs I mean, it goes way beyond diecast here. All these cool stuff. All right. And what else you got? <laughs> what? Nick. Nick. All right. So here we have Mustang. Custom Camaro. Mm -hmm. And uh, another charger. Yeah, for the work. Ekmek. This is awesome. The Mighty Mustang. Rat thing. Yeah. Ekmek. That's a nose mobile. It's a cutlass. Cutlass. And you know, I know my muscle car, man. Yeah, good, good. <laughs> uh, this one, I don't know what it is. Torino, Grand Torino. Oh, we oui, oui. Cobra. Wow. Hmm. 1969. 97. It's the same car, but. Yeah. Okay, so one has round headlights and the other one are concealed. The front, the front, yeah, front, yeah. Yeah, the front is different. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. This is overwhelming. Hmm? GMP, this one. Yeah. And to go to the portier, to the portier, to the portier, to so the question I want to ask you, uh, is there a way you organize your cars or is, or is it just random placed? Ben moi, pour mes autos, j'essaie surtout d'agencer les couleurs pour que ça soit agréable à la vue. OK. Et puis, euh, les modèles, mais j'essaie de peut-être mettre les modèles ensemble aussi. Là. OK. Que, euh, mais c'est comme ça que j'installe mes autos. Là, puis, euh, That's... Mais il faut que la couleur soit là pour attirer les Oh, that's a, that's cool, man. That's a cool way to display your cars. I love it. So of course we're not done. There's there's more car here. So uh, all of these are Acme. You told me yes. Okay, and they're they're mostly Cudas. Ce que je veux faire, je veux One. faire un, un display seulement pour les Cudas. Okay. Puis là, ben il me reste deux Chevel. Puis euh, un El Camino. Un El Camino que je vais enlever pour acheter des Cudas et ah, okay, des Acme. Okay. Je suis à la recherche, mais aussi okay, okay, celui-là, okay. ben, je vais les placer ailleurs. That's awesome. 
I know that these cars are basically all the same, but there's so much choice of colors. Mm -hmm. You can... Cet rangé là ici. Yeah. Okay. Ils ont sorti trois modèles seulement différents. Hard top. Okay. Vinyl top. Okay. And décapotable. C'est seulement les trois modèles qu'ils ont fait dans cette couleur-là. Oh, OK, OK. I didn't know that. <rire> Là, je veux faire pareil avec les verts. Il me manque le décapotable. Je vais le trouver. OK. Oh, now I get it. C'est parce que ça fait augmenter la valeur quand tu as les trois modèles. Of course. I like this one. Un 67. Barracuda. The El, the El Camino, also yes, sir. Really cool. El Camino Street Fighter. <laughs> okay, so what do we have here? Alors, ici, j'ai <coughs> les Pneuma GTX. Mm -hmm. Okay. Après ça, une série de Challenger. It's Challenger Street Fighter. Uh, <coughs> Challenger Mr. Norm. Oh, Mr. Norm. Yeah. The white one? The white one. Green light, green light, green light. I have bullet charger. Your charger is from what brand? Is it a Ertol? Yeah. Okay. So I did I did a review on this car a couple of weeks ago on my YouTube channel. If you haven't seen it, I mean I, I'll put a link in the description. But the one that I had for uh, my review. It was missing parts like an exhaust and all sorts of things. But yours is really nice, man. It's really, really nice. Does it have an exhaust? Yeah. <laughs> hey, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you have the uh, the other bullet, the uh, the Mustang. This one is from Greenlight? Auto Art. It's an Auto Art? Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Hein? Buick Riviera. What year? This seven, I think. Not sure. That's all right. But so, you know the the company that makes the wheels, the the program mod steel, no? No, no. Well, it's those who make the wheels. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. They have an emission, and they make the 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 wheels. Okay. I heard that you have, I heard that you have hot rods. You have hot rods? Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's go check out the okay. hot rods. <laughs> you have matching bed sheets and drapes. That's so awesome. And here are the hot rods. You told me that those are from Acme. Yeah. And what's the other brand? Uh, this one here it was Tom Garage. Tom Garage. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that brand until you you told me about it. It's so cool. These are all 1932 Ford? All 1932. Yeah. Yes. We're going to talk about this black guy a little bit later. There's something special about this one. That's great, man. I love this one. Oh, you know what? No, I love this one. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> my favorite. Oh, oh wait, oh wait, there's this one. Oh. <laughs> Out of them all, I think. <laughs> so you had the uh, black and red one from Tom Garage. Tom Garage. And this one is the same, but it's not from Tom's Garage. Acme. No, this one is from Acme. Acme. Okay. Acme. And the uh, This red one Acme thing. too. I mean, this video is going to be an hour long for sure. American Graffiti. Yeah, that one I recognize. Really awesome. And again, we see that uh, you have the plaque, Hot Rod 1932. The, this, the, all these caves were made by... Alain Lajoie. Alain Lajoie. Yeah. That's great. We have more Hot Rods ones yeah 
pretty awesome. This one is really cool with the flames and you can see the uh, engine detail. Is it from Acme also? Uh, this one, American Muscle. American Muscle. Mm -hmm. Pretty neat. Another one here with the really great engine detail. So cool. Mm. And the black classic, black, red, and white <laughs> hot rod, classic colors super cool so we talked about this car uh what exactly do you want to do with uh, with this car uh, je veux trouver la même voiture mais en catégorie 164 pour accompagner parce que j'ai trouvé le kit 118 et le kit 164 okay, so you have the uh, 118 scale pickup with the trailer and you want to match it in 164 scale it's a really cool is it is it available somewhere? Does it exist? Ça existe tu? Maybe. Oh, okay, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sinon, je vais le faire moi-même. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. I was about to leave the room, and uh, Serge told me he didn't see that. Oh, another diorama. So, so you're saying this is uh, the uh, Route 66? Yeah. Did you bought the figurines like that or uh no, I paint. You paint them. Yeah. Wow man, you have great talents. Et puis j'ai mis les décalques dessus sur Route 66. Lui là dans mm -hmm. le And we have here it's the truck from Smoking the Bandit. You told me there was a trailer coming? Yes. J'ai uh, commandé un de mes copains qui va faire uh, lui-même un home make qu'on appelle. Mais mm -hmm. puis, uh, ça va être la vanne, on va avoir 35 pouces de long. Ça va être vraiment à l'échelle d'un 18. Smoke it and, uh, smoke and the bandit. Donc, uh, je vais vous présenter un beau petit kit plus tard. <laughs> I love it. Diorama looks pretty cool. It's simple and uh, it shows everything. That's awesome. Now let's go check that 50s diner. Hey, did you make a reservation? Uh, no, I didn't make a, a oh, reservation. I'm sorry for you, sir. Oh, okay. Can, can you show me? Can you <laughs> no, show me come anyway? In, come all right, all right. <laughs> oh, wow. That's awesome. So, uh, yes, the guy has a 50s diner in his room. Complete with all the 50s cars and 60s. It's great, man. And some more 50s car. Oh, well, 50s, 60s, and 70s. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, okay, so you, yeah, you told me about that. So you have the uh, Batman TV and the Back to the Future and Star Trek. Wow. I mean, it's n it's not actually one eighteen scale, but it, I think it's pretty close. It, it it fits. So here we have a police car Chevrolet, nineteen fifty eight. It's not a Cadillac. Is it? Well, yeah, it's a Cadillac. Cadillac sixty three. Yeah. Beautiful. The Chevrolet Impala, mm -hmm. the color of my mirror. Okay, so uh, your walls are the. Yeah, you're right. It's the exact same color. So, 50s. Nice. 
you have here Tour for the Bellow Saint Cats. Wow. We have a a custom to Cadillac. Cadillac, yeah. Wow. I like the the wheels on this mm -hmm. one. It's like the, the Bonneville salt flat racing wheels. <laughs> Something like that. What? It's Bolly from Bolly's Salvage Yard, you know. <laughs> hey, what are you doing here? Oh, man, get lost. Okay. Come All right. To eat. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome, man. It's like a 50s Mercury or... A... No. Yeah. Yeah? yeah? You see, I'm not that bad with <laughs> cars. I like this one. That's a... Uh, that's Bell a uh, uh, yeah. Ce Charger-là, c'est lui qui accompagne le husband que tu as vu dans le champ tantôt. Ah, oui, oui. Un, un côté oui, oui, oui. Hey, a couple of Mustangs here. Yeah. Et puis là, dans le fond, ça, j'ai été au Highway 61. Mm -hmm. 66. Et un autre Bel Air 57 décapotable. Ça va bien. So, there's some more 50s car here. Raw taste. I mean, the lighting on all this is awesome. Yeah. So, if you want to order from this guy, I mean, you can pretty much have whatever you want. I mean, he can do pretty much everything. Yeah, like it's just the size you want, the, uh, the text, look, I just noticed, Chez Serge, drive in, so cool, man, yeah, and we have the uh, Coca-Cola team table, and, want yeah, 50, yeah, it's not second. It's a real one, it's not yes, a replica? Sir. Yes, sir. Wow, man, it's, it's in perfect shape, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can film a diecast vlog here with the Coca-Cola team. And we have Coca-Cola from Johnny Lightning. Yeah, truck, nice truck. Uh, the fridge, everything. I mean, everything's there. You, uh, there, there's a lot of work here. You, you put a lot of effort into that. I mean, beaucoup d'effort là dedans. Oui, oui. Yeah, congratulations, man. It's, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's awesome. Too. Yeah. So uh, we have, we have more stuff to see, eh? Yeah. <laughs> the tour never ends. <laughs> Let's go check out. So we're back in the living room here. I kept these guys for last, but well, right. not not last because we have more stuff to see. But these are crazy good, man. Like like I told you before, Serge. Uh, I mean, we always see on marketplace and eBay the, the same trucks, but these I never seen these before. They're so cool. Did did you paint the figurine also here? Uh, wait. Because their clothing matches the car. Exactly. Yeah, man, there's a lot of work there. And the uh, the golf guy. This car is a special one. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Pourquoi? Why? Parce qu'il y en a 600. C'est la 001. La première. Oh, so rare. Yes, sir. <laughs> The only one. <laughs> <laughs> I love the uh, rat thing. Rat thing. thing. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty awesome. You bought it like that? What? Okay, so this is not a custom made. Oh, okay. So if you figured it, it's what you said. Yeah. And the Coca Cola towing truck. Mustang is cool also. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. huh? It's a Coca-Cola Mustang. Yeah. 
never seen this before. It's so cool. So glad I came. <laughs> so, okay, guys, we're almost at the end of our tour here, but I wanted to show you something really, really special. Well, in fact, two things. The first thing we're going to see is these three cars here. What can you tell me about these cars? Okay, uh, c'est two charger, they are different painters special. Uh, c'est chromé qu'on appelle. Mm -hmm. Et puis, uh, moi j'ai demandé à Alain qu'il me fasse des displays. Et puis, il m'a fait des displays avec les miroirs, la couleur des voitures. C'est ce que ça donne. Et j'ai fait peinturer les figurines aux couleurs des chargers. The chrome paint is hard to film, but uh, I mean, looking at these cars in reality, they are way much better looking than on film. It's so crazy. These are cool also, man. Back to the cars. Yeah. Super cool. And the last thing I wanted to show you guys is basically the reason I'm here. I saw my friend Serge posting this on Facebook and I was like, what? There's other people there who makes dioramas? <laughs> so this is the Mr. Norm dealership. It, it's from uh, which company? It's a... Uh, YCD. YCD. So this is really great because I think, honestly, I think that this is a very close replica of the real thing i mean they're it's all acrylic with the stickers on get the lighting inside and you have the exact same pictures on the walls as the real dealership and the mr norm dealership back in the 60s 70s it can only hold four cars so this is mind blowing. Can we open it? How, how does it work? So it slides open and then you can change the cars. Take a look at that. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, this is not from Mr. Norm, the Coke machine. No, <laughs> you added though. You added that. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. But you can see it's the the original pictures on the walls. It's really great. Yeah, man. Whew. All right. So again, Serge, thank you so much for having me today. Uh, I mean, you have one of the most incredible collection I've seen in in a long time. I mean, it's it's totally crazy, man. So thanks for having me. Thank you, my friend. And we'll we'll see you around, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Take care of you. Hi, Chris here. Did you enjoy that video? Well, there's another one you might want to watch. Or if you want, you can click on this one. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.